Hi, and welcome to 21 Days of Prayer here at the Bridge Church. My name is Christine Ashley. I have the honor of sharing with you all today one name that has become so near and dear um, to me just in the last season of my life. Um, and that particular name is Jehovah Nisi, um, which means the Lord is my banner. And um, I want you to just think for a second of a visual of like a covering and what that symbolizes in your life and um, the protection and the comfort that you feel from maybe a warm blanket um, if it's rainy and cold outside if you have an umbrella um, if you're here in Florida of course we keep an umbrella a lot but um, I wanted to really share with you today a beautiful passage in scripture where we see the Lord first mentioned as Jehovah Nisi. And so I'm reading today from Exodus 17. Um, it's actually um, verse 18. Um, and in the midst of all of this, I would encourage you to go back and just read this passage. Um, this particular moment, Moses um, is standing up on the mountain and Aaron and her have come to his aid because every time he holds up the staff, um, Joshua and um, the Israelite army are defeating the Amalekites in the valley. Um, but when his staff is lowered because his arms are so tired and he's weary, they lose. And so um, the verses leading up to this part, you're seeing um, Moses kind of declare from the mountain of the power of the Lord. Um, but what is so beautiful is that Aaron and her are coming around Moses and um, helping provide support and stability for him um, as he is kind of projecting this this banner per se um, of what the Lord's going to do. So in verse um, 15 it says, and Moses built an altar and called the name the Lord is my banner saying a hand upon the throne of the Lord the Lord will have war with the Amalekites from generation to generation. And so if you read back through this passage, obviously we translate it to Jehovah Nisi. Um, sometimes you've heard it sung in a, a worship song, maybe the Lord fights my battles. And so this is where you look at how the Lord is just your covering, your protector. God goes before us and really ways that we can apply this in our own lives is maybe you're walking through something and you are desperate for someone even to maybe come alongside you. Um, you're desperate for a word from the Lord, for encouragement or something, just to be reminded that the Lord has already gone before you and has defeated whatever thing is before you. But a lot of times we've got to remember that we have to walk through the valley. Um, there are gonna be valley moments, there are gonna be mountaintop moments, but in the midst of all of that, that is where the Lord is always so faithful to be our Jehovah Nisi. Um, the Lord who covers, protects, um, the Lord who is our banner. And I love the visual um, when Moses is holding up the staff um, because you really get that visual of, of a banner um, as he's proclaiming the power of the Lord over the people as they're fighting in the valley down below. And if you think about how the Lord does that for us, he has a bird's eye view of things that we cannot see. Um, and so would you be encouraged today in remembering that whatever things are before you, whatever you're facing, whatever spiritual warfare is going on, um, that you can rest in knowing that your Lord is Jehovah Nisi. Um, the Lord is your banner and he reigns victorious. He is faithful even when we are faithless. So I'm praying that you will be encouraged um, by learning a little bit more today about your Jehovah Nisi. Um, would you pray with me? God, thank you so much that you show up for us in every season and every in-between place. God, that you are our banner, you are our covering, you are our victor. God, that you go before us in moments when we are just, God, utterly paralyzed to move forward, when we can't understand what's been going on. God, we just thank you for your goodness. God, we thank you that you're constant in all things. And so, God, would you help us to remember that in the midst of battles that we are fighting, in the midst of the everyday, God, that we can sit underneath the banner of your goodness, of your faithfulness, of your victory, of your deliverance, of your freedom, and Lord, of your love. So God, we just thank you for who you are, and we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.
will see you tomorrow for 21 days of prayer.